And welcome back for the word for today. Turn with me to Luke chapter 6 and verse 38. Many of you know this verse. It's a favorite for most people. And it begins by saying, Give, and it shall be given unto you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it shall be measured back to you again. And who doesn't like something like that to happen? Of course we all do. And uh, given it shall be given unto you, good measure pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. People can rattle it right off, but they fail to go to the four qualifiers, and that would be found in Luke 6.36 and, verse, and, and uh, verse 37 as well. Be therefore merciful as your Father also is merciful, do not judge, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and uh, you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you shall be forgiven. So here are the four qualifiers to opening up the Luke 638 blessing in your life. Do not judge, do not condemn. Give mercy, and forgive. Now, a lot of times we run into people, they have a tough time with forgiveness and unforgiveness. And, well, I'll forgive, but I won't forget. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, I'll forgive, but uh, I don't want to see them again. Uh, I'll forgive, but, um, you know, uh, I don't ever want to talk to them again. Um, I want to direct you to, to Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6 is the Lord's Prayer. And as I turned there, um, many of you know this verse very well. In verse, uh, uh, verse 9, After this manner therefore pray, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of God forever. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Now let's go back to this and forgive us. This is verse 12. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So with the same way that you forgive other people, you're going to ask the Father and he will forgive you the same way. So as I said earlier, uh, I'll forgive, but I won't forget. So you're saying to your heavenly father, well, forgive me, but don't forget mine. Uh, I will forgive, uh, but I don't ever want to talk to them again. Uh, so you're, what you're really saying is uh, you're asking the father to forgive you, but you don't ever want him to talk to you again. Uh, I'll forgive, but uh, I don't want anything to do with them any longer because what they did was so outrageous. And so you're asking your heavenly father in the same manner to forgive you. Well, I'll forgive you, but I don't want to have anything to do with you again. This is, this is going to clear the sinuses of most Christians out there uh, in order to get that breakthrough that everybody's looking for in their life. Now, there's one way to overcome this, and it's always by the Word of God that's the power of God, and it's found in 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 4 in the Amplified Version, and it's the love chapter. Love endures long. It is patient. It's kind. It's never envious. It doesn't boil over with jealousy. It's not boastful or vainglorious. It does not display itself haughtily. It is not conceited, arrogant, inflated with pride. It is not rude, unmannerly, and does not act unbecomingly. Love, God's love in us does not insist on its own rights or its own way. Um, for it is not self-seeking or touchy, fretful, or resentful. It pays no account for the evil done, and it pays no attention to a suffered wrong. And it does not rejoice when injustice and unrighteous prevail, but only when truth and right prevail. Love bears up under anything and everything. Love never fails. It does not fade out. It never becomes obsolete. It never comes to an end. So the key to your breakthrough is your love walk. 
forgiving other people, being merciful, not judging, and not condemning. I hope this helped you today.